In this section, we'll look at the presidency of Dwight Eisenhower regarding Vietnam up until the Geneva Accords in 1954. Eisenhower and his Secretary of State, John Foster Dulles, they didn't question the basic tenets of containment. They saw Vietnam as the spread of communism and not a fight for independence. Eisenhower just assumed that he could pressure the French a little more and they would make the reforms and Baudai would be more popular and things would calm down. Facing increased U.S. pressure, the French uh, promised reforms but didn't really follow through. For example, the French general, Henry Navarre, proposed the Navarre Plan, which was kind of what Eisenhower and Dulles had been wanting. They uh, called for a massive increase in the Vietnamese National Army and the, the promises of land reform. The problem was that uh, the French didn't follow through. There were no specifics in regard to land reform, and Navarre uh, immediately ran into trouble. General Giap attacked first before Navarre could uh, sort of build up his forces. And, uh, you know, it was obviously that the, the French were, were not going to be successful in Vietnam. The French problems came to a head in 1954 when they had a major defeat at Dien Bien Phu, which is in northwest Vietnam near the Laotian border. In hopes of cutting the Viet Minh forces and luring them into open battle, Navarre set up a garrison at the intersection of two key roads. He uh, ringed it with barbed wire and bunkers. The problem was, it was a mistake since it was in a valley and it was surrounded by high mountains and it, there was not much chance for reinforcements and easy to encircle or siege it. Navarre assumed that the Viet Minh couldn't get any heavy artillery up on top of the mountains. He uh, underestimated the uh, Viet Minh. Giap reacted quickly and he uh, they did disassembled some of the heavy artillery, put it on their back and crawled to the top of the mountains and reassembled, reassembled them. And the result was the Giap had Dien Bien Phu completely uh, circled, trapping 12,000 elite French soldiers. The French quickly asked for American aid, but the Americans didn't want to launch a major attack to help the French caught at Dien Bien Phu because it feared getting drawn into a major battle when the French, yet again, had not outlined a long-term solution to their problem. Uh, they weren't still making the necessary reforms. Also, the U.S. had hopes for a coordinated diplomatic response with planning for the Geneva Accords taking place. Uh, this is shown in the picture here. Uh, we'll talk about Geneva Accords in just a second. Also, the United States wanted to get other countries to work together to assure sort of mutual security in their region, something that they were, they were uh, touting as the United Action. With the French not getting aid, Viet Minh launched wave after wave of human assaults, and the French were, were hopelessly outnumbered. They ended up surviving 55 days of artillery pounding. French airplanes would try to drop the uh, French soldiers' supplies, but the parachutes would often float into the mountains, and actually were, were used by, much of it was used by the Viet Minh. On May 7, 1954, the French garrison surrendered. It was the undoubtedly the greatest victory to date for the Viet Minh, and it meant that the French controlled all of the north with only a very couple small pockets around Hanoi. Uh, France was already making plans to abandon the north and salvage as much of the south as possible. Attention now turned to the Geneva Accords. The United States was pessimistic at the outset since the fall of Dien Bien Phu had left the French in such a weak position. As one French diplomat stated, France came to Geneva with, quote, a two of clubs and a three of diamonds, unquote. The United States worried that with the French failure thus far, they would simply use Geneva as a fig leaf of respectability, allowing for a complete surrender into China. After all, the costs were already so high, France couldn't afford it, even if the U.S. provided them aid. During the negotiations, Eisenhower and Secretary of State John Foster Dulles arrived at a decision that had momentous implications for the long term. If France withdrew from Vietnam, the U.S. would have to assume primary responsibility for the security of the region. Once again, they assumed that they could get Viet South Vietnam to do what the French had not been able to do, to make the necessary reforms. 
once again, of course, Eisenhower and Dulles fully accepted the containment philosophy. Uh, Eisenhower assumed, actually correctly as it turned out, that at least part of Vietnam would still be salvageable, and the U.S. should draw a line protecting this region and nearby countries of Laos, Thailand, and Cambodia. They uh, were hoping to get a, a mutual defense of these areas, again, part of the United Action Plan. The final Geneva Accord of 1954 dissolved all of French Indochina, and uh, it did signal that the French would soon withdraw. But uh, in other words, it was kind of a compromise. The, the agreement partitioned Vietnam along the 17th parallel to permit a temporary cooling off period to allow regrouping by each side. The agreement stressed that this division was only temporary and, quote, should not be interpreted as constituting a political or territory boundary, unquote. The country was to be reunified, and uh, to do so, there'd be elections scheduled for the summer of 1956. In the interim, neither side should join a military alliance or, or, or try to uh, usurp the other side, and there would be a, a general ceasefire until the elections. With uh, their great victory at Dien Bien Phu, the Viet Minh had wanted more, but the Soviets and the Chinese pressured them to accept the agreement. The Soviets were trying to cultivate a friendship with the French in order to split the Western alliances, and the Chinese were worried that if the conflict metastasized, it might draw the Americans right up to their border. This concludes the section on Eisenhower's policies in Vietnam up until 1954 and the Geneva Accord of that year.